Amanil Kumar will now discuss a technique of multiplying fractions. The strategy here is to simplify and then multiply fractions. So the key word here is to simplify. So before multiplying, we should really try to simplify. These four examples will help you understand the concept. So if you have 9 over 10 times 5 over 6, what you could do is you could just multiply them, right? As we do for any fractions, multiply the numerators. So if you do 9 times 5, you get 45. And then you do 10 times 6, you get 60. Now, once you get that, then you need to simplify, correct? So, so you simplify this, you say, well, 5, you can divide them both by 5. So dividing by 5 will give us 9 here and dividing by 5 will give us 10 here. So 9 over 10 uh, becomes the answer for this particular question, correct? So you may do something like this. The alternate method is really to simplify and that is what we do here is, I'm sorry, this is when you divide by 5, 5 times 1 is 5, 10 it is 2, 12, 9 over 12 which can be further simplified. So, see, dividing both by 3, you get 3 over 4, correct? So, you get the answer as 3 over 4. Perfect. Now, in this method, as you have seen, we are involving bigger numbers, higher numbers. And so, there is a possibility of error as I just did, right? So, that is possible. Let us avoid these errors and do a better job. So that is why we are concentrating on simplify and then multiply, correct? So I hope you got the concept. Now let us redo this question by simplifying and then multiplying. Simplify means you already have numbers here in fraction form. You can divide numerator and denominator by 5. So you get 1 and 10 goes 2 times. And here we can divide them by 3, so 3 and 2, right? So now if I multiply 3 times 1, I get 3, 2 times 2, I get 4, exactly the same answer. So the answer 3 over 4 is indeed correct, right? So this is the answer we get. So simplifying helps. I hope you got an idea, right? So these are practice questions for you. I'll do one more, okay? So let's do this one. Hopefully this time don't make a mistake. Since I am going to do simplify first, 4 and 12, we can divide 4 by 4 as 1, 4 times 3, okay? And these could be divided by 5, 5 times 3, 5 times 2, and we again get 2 over 3 times 3, 9 as our answer, correct? That is easy. So try to simplify and then divide. So you can pause the video, answer the other two questions, and then look into my solution okay so let's continue so 5 goes 1 times 5 5 this is 4 times 3 4 times 4 and in this case the answer is 4 over 15 right so easy in the last one here 5 is 3 times you don't even have to write 1 at times correct and uh, these two could be divided by 2 so we get 4 here and 9 there so we have 4 over 27 as our answer. So try to simplify and then multiply or divide the fractions. Right? So we'll take a few more examples just to practice. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.